So I was angry and I was out in the streets. Uh, I was a street kid. I mean, this, this you can mention. I don't care. I should happen to me as a kid. So I was one of the people that was at the Fat Angel Drop-In Center. And I guess one of the first things that... One of the first entertainment moments I ever had where I met a celebrity, I got to go to the airport with a friend of mine pick up Dick, Gre Dick, Dick Gregory, the uh, comedian slash activist type guy. And, Multiple uh, time candidate for president. Yeah, that guy. And uh, um, that was part of the Fat Angel. And they were a drop-in center and you know, I didn't always want to go home. I, uh, they, my parents always lived way the hell out of town. And I like to stay downtown, so I would hang out with people at the drop-in center and hang out uh, with friends of mine that worked at the back door. And um, I was trying to find my way, and it wasn't always so great because, like, you know, you get into this music, you drink a lot. You, you know, you're in your twenties, you make a lot of stupid mistakes, but the music kind of was the background for all of that. You know, if and sometimes if I was pissed off. I would come down to the bar, you could tell, because I'd be playing, you know, the class, the sex business, the damn, blah, all the really high energy, fuck you type of music. And if I was sad, I'd be playing, you know, the <laughs> sort of mellow kind of stuff. But, uh, but yeah, either, I, I've heard a lot of people say this, music is either wallpaper in your life, like you like to listen to it, or it's center stage. So in my case, it's a stage still, and always will be.